Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I, uh, hang on. I got a package in the mail, which I'm really happy about. And if I'm correct, this should be my, uh, favorite inclusion in my collection of video games. Uh, and I wanted to unbox this with y'all because I haven't been posting anything, so like, eh, it's better than nothing. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's still in this package, because I want to have a good thumbnail. Feels so wonderful, guys. You ready? Oh my god, that looks amazing. Paracord strap. How do you go? Season pass. Collector's Edition Digital Official Soundtrack Ooh, uh, There's a slight crack in it Right there in that corner Hardened edition. Yeah, let's get let's get this bitch open. This thing is pretty beat up though. Sadly, it's beat up though. That corner was punctured inwards. This is just a slight sleeve. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, you always gotta smell an open thing. Oh, but just, oh, this, this box feels amazing. And everything, guys, just. That's a separate box down there. Just ah, oh. slowly drink up. Like I said, like right over here. Just peel it back over here. That's for that. Oh, I it was chipping. Whatever. Oh, oh my God, guys. Oh, oh. That's dope as hell. Ah. Oh. oh, guys. Oh, let's, let me do that again. Just let, let, let me just, uh, let's just. It's just a little better. Look at this. Just. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. This is just so amazing. Let me just put that one down and lift this thing out.
This probably wasn't supposed to come out, but it, it did, so let me just kind of act like that was never taken out, taken out. Uh, let us open this up. Oh my god, this is a beautiful steel book. My first steel book ever. Oh, let's open up this. Let's also just put this on here for now. Just to be extra careful with it. Because I don't even think this is going to be able to fit on my shelf. This is going to have to be a top uh, on my. It's going to have to be on the. It's going to have to be on the top of my shelf. But, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to bolt it back in place though. Oh, look at it. Oh, let's open this. Oh, how do I? Don't want to rip it. Don't want to rip it. Okay, there, I got it open without tearing it. Oh my god, it's like felt or something. This is definitely super fucking badass. Oh my god, and there's different sizes too. Oh my god, this is just badass. Let me try and put this bitch on for y'all. Here, y'all can look at this while I do it, because it, I'm, I don't really wear watches, so, like, I'm not used to putting shit on my hand, one-handed. Try tightening it one more time. Sorry that y'all aren't seeing anything. Uh, let me just try to... Here's a fat leg and here's a hand. Again, I don't really do this shit like one handed. Oh my god, this is badass. Bro, this is so fucking dope.
I didn't even know I was buying this, and this is so fucking dope. Here's a pop one. Look at it. I got it. I got it in the camera. Focus, finally. Just bam, bro. Now I take this thing off. And this is some very nice metal construction. Fifth paracord too. Now I'm just gonna go put this back in the container for now. And I got cat hair all over it. Because apparently felt is a bitch. Okay, good to know. Yeah, good to know after I put it on my bed. Hmm, that really fucking sucks. But, whatever. Shit happens. Uh, and then pull this forward. Yeah, this is Call of Duty Ghost, um, uh, folks. This is a Call of Duty Hardened Edition. I mean, Call of Duty Ghost Hardened Edition. Now let's just put this bitch back in. I'm just not gonna have these sides in just because it's a bitch to get it undone. I don't really feel that's gonna be detrimental. Bruh. Look at this box art though. Bro, I may be doing the campaign later. Which is just super fucking dope. And then you get the ghost logo on both sides. Ooh. Oh, is that how you would get it out? Wait. I'll do the bottom. So now the top isn't bolted in. But now that I've done that, I just put this back on because I do not want this thing getting even more busted up, even though I'm handling it non stop. This feels kind of wet. Wait, what's uh. This feels like oil pastels. If you took an art class, you should know what I'm talking about. But it feels like an oil pastel. With that wet, oily feeling. Probably. <laughs> oil pastel. You, you know, an oil pastel, man. You know what the whole entire box does, too. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure that this is a bit taller than a normal 360 game. Let me just get a comparison, you know? What better comparison than with another Call of Duty? Oh yeah, that's not fitting on the shelf. I mean, now everything feels like an oil pastel. Maybe that was an oil pastel. Camera's up shaking. You guys, as my witness. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh. So beautiful. Let me take out these codes off camera. Just so y'all don't fucking be a douche. Like the internet so... Does, like, does so much. I peeled these off, you notice the discs right there, which I'll show you why, because I really want to show you guys real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, now let me quickly put this disc back. So let's see here. So season pass. You got this. And you got the digital bonus content. And then you got the season pass. Ooh, which includes weapon, camera, and article. Season pass. But uh, yeah, guys, that this this is a fucking fantastic fucking buy. I'm gonna have to. Do the season pass very very soon because these may be expired. That's a problem with old codes, but this should be let's see, storage required. Uh, this should be Uh, wait, co-op, two-player. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see here, so... 
720p. 2014, 2013. So this is pretty damn old. I'm gonna pause the video and trying to redeem this code. So BRB people. And that's just nice. The collector's edition is unreadable. Why is that? Brian's making new. Oh. Uh, let me see if I can get that. Right there. Oh, it was a chip and I didn't see. Ooh. You know, slowly open this. Maybe it just needs to be cleaned. Let me let me pause it again. Okay, so got a problem. Uh, the disc was still unrecognized, so I'm using that th this one over here. So uh, let's just free, not free. Not free. Not free, not free, not free. Not free, not free, not free. <laughs> no system of Asian devastation. Yeah, so uh, I guess I'll download all these. Uh... Yeah, I will be back, y'all. So, uh, yeah, I'm back. I don't even know where I left off on, but uh, do some researching. Uh... So on the back of this, this these items you can only get by using this code in the bo the bottom one. Ghost of Signia Digital Pack and a fish with soundtrack code. They have discontinued these things back in 2019, last fucking year in November. I'm a year too late to redeem this. So that's fun. Uh, it kind of sucks that this doesn't work, but. But. Looks fucking amazing. It looks fucking amazing. Looks super damn cool. Even if it doesn't work. I'm not gonna return it because there's only one more in stock. I'm not gonna tell you guys where. But I'm also thinking of maybe trying to get the prestige edition. Which legit, the only fucking difference between the Hardened Edition of Call of Duty Ghosts and the Prestige Edition is that the Prestige Edition comes with a fucking 2080p camera, 4 gigabyte capture card, recording software, bigger box. But it comes with the exact same steelbook, so I could get a second one. And one of them I could have for display, another one never be touched, ever. It would come with the exact same band, and I can do a season pass giveaway. So, you know, there's always that. Also, here's my dinky ass stand. Let me just. Just so I don't accidentally sit on it pointing straight up. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh hey, uh, Prison Mate Luke. If you don't guys, if you guys don't know who Prison Mate Luke is, uh, he's the guy who makes videos, basically calling out other people for their shitty actions. Uh, and he just posted a video about Yandere Dev banning someone or something. So I guess that's that's a call and a half. Uh, but uh, yeah, this has been unboxing. I may try and get that 180p camera. I mean, this uh, this has honestly been a really, really cool fucking buy. Like, let me try and, uh... Let me just take a chunk of games. Slap them down there. Slap that over there. Slap this over here. Uh... Let me use this, like... Grab a couple more games. Oh god, they're all gonna fall down. Okay, there we go. Let's move that to the side. And it does work. Does this work? It's really sticking out. I mean, this works. This, this really works. Just bam, sticking right out at you. Ooh, also, uh, cause I got y'all here watching. Uh, this is my second favorite piece of my collection. I think, actually, they're both on par. Because this one just has some great-ass artwork. This isn't the outer case. This is just the inner case. I've lent my cousin uh, the DLC discs. So, as y'all can see, uh, yeah, there's slots for three of them. But, uh, they're all missing. But it's, this is still my second favorite buy ever. But this is honestly... No, honestly these are both on the same par because this one just has pretty artwork for that one. More expensive and cooler. I don't fucking know man, they're both cool. And then <laughs> my next favorite is my Bioshock Ultimate Edition. Which did come with the limited edition stickers, which are far, far away. Which would be right here. I even had to clean this whole entire thing off. We got all the stickers off. Even here. This was way worse condition. I used some goo gone with a fucking Q-tip and... <clears throat> all that goddamn crap went all the way away. It said, we, we, we all the way home. <laughs> uh, well, uh, saying how I am disappointed, happy, and disappointed, and even more happy, uh, I'm gonna leave the video off there. Uh... Thank you guys for watching. Also, in case you guys are wondering what's going on with my shelf. But uh, if you guys are wondering what's going on with my shelf, let me just stand off completely. So if you guys are wondering what's going on with my shelf, this is basically my way of organizing it currently. These are all detagged games that have absolutely no sign of like a GameStop thing or anything. Oh, so I got the poster for this. This I got this brand new. The poster's pretty lit. But uh, like for example, let's pull out Dragon Age. Uh, GameStop tag. GameStop tag. Like it taking off the tags just make the games look way prettier. Like let me get a good example of a game that had a shitty box art because the tags like this this. Now that was not really a good example. Uh, Fire Shark 2. Look at that shit, man. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And, and, and it's, it's just, you, there's, there's depth. There, there's depth to this case. Like, it isn't flat. Like, you can feel all the bumps and ridges of this logo and the shatter. Like, I had to detag this. The, uh, like, yeah. And these ones are the ones I plan on doing soon. Then all of these are in alphabetical order, without including 
these and these from Crackdown, not Crackdown, from Banjo Kazooie all the way to Wolfenstein. They're alphabetical. Well, yeah, I gotta stop just piling on shit. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, have a wonderful Friday. Have a nice weekend and sleep. And, uh,. I'm going to try and become a little bit more active, but if I don't expect to post on Friday, because I will be forcing myself to, I will be forcing myself to post every Friday. And, uh, yeah. I'm just fucking repeating myself, but like, comment, subscribe, I guess. And bye bye